I've got a quick and easy recipe for you today. I think you're going to love it. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel. I'm so glad you're here with me today. We're going to be making a really different and fun recipe. And you know, we get together every week in the kitchen, creating a variety of recipes that hopefully fit your individual needs. So today we are going to be making a fiber rich hot chia flax cereal. Let's begin by adding one and a quarter cup of your preferred nut, oat, or hemp milk to a small saucepan. And I recommend using unsweetened milk so that you can later add your desired amount and type of sweetener. Next, we have three tablespoons of ground flax seed. I like to freshly grind the seeds right before I use them to keep them as fresh as possible. And flax seeds are an excellent source of dietary fiber. They're a great plant-based protein and they help reduce inflammation in the body. Next, we have three tablespoons of chia seeds, which are also really high in dietary fiber. They also help support sustained energy. Another great source of dietary fiber is unsweetened shredded coconut. I'm going to add in one tablespoon. This last ingredient is optional. I'm going to add in one scoop of our clean source collagens powder. And what I love about our collagens powder is it also includes other ingredients that help the body absorb the collagen. Whisk together over medium heat until your cereal thickens to your desired consistency, anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Remove from the heat and then top with your favorite toppings. I'm going to be adding a touch of honey, some cinnamon, some more shredded coconut, and some fresh blackberries. We are ready to give this cereal a taste. Some other topping ideas are maybe some yogurt, some more milk, some fresh fruit, other types of fruit aside from these blackberries that I used, or maybe some chopped up walnuts or pecans would be really delicious. So let's give it a taste. Mm, I love that it's warm. So if you've had chia pudding before, you know kind of the consistency that it's going to have, but this is warm. It's delicious. I love uh, the flavor of coconut that's coming through because I used some coconut milk. And so along with the shredded coconut, it is really nice. And you can really adjust the flavoring of this. You can add a bunch of different spices. Maybe some cardamom will be good in here too, or some ginger to really warm it up. And you know, and depending on what kind of fruit you use, mangoes would add a delicious flavor, or pineapple. The combinations are endless. And this is so good for your digestion and so easy to make. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks for being with me today. Hey, I hope you are happy, healthy, and well and take great care of yourself this week. I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.